Okay, and we are rolling. <clears throat> well, this is the second time I have done a reading, videoed it, and didn't actually video it. <clears throat> so that's a message for some of you. Deep breath. Show your shoulders, drop them down, roll your neck around. Deep breath. Let it out. Okay. So, <clears throat> we are going to start a new energy, and if any of you out there know anything about uh, cameras and video editing, please let me know. I need some help. Recommendations on... Good cameras. How do I take shots of myself and looking down at the cards? Because most importantly, I need you all to be able to see the cards and see the details in these cards for you to get clear messages. Uh, if you can't see the card and it's blurry, uh, you're not getting as much information as you should be. So, if any of you out there, I need your help. It is January 29th, 2024. Welcome to One Who Seeks, where you are the one who seeks. What are you seeking? I could see what the camera sees on my computer here with my phone. My phone, I bought this almost $200 camera webcam and it is so blurry as you probably have noticed in the past two to three videos and um I was able to at least hook it up to the computer so I can see what you see. But I'm kind of in the dark. I'm blinded, so to say, what's happening. So we're going to do a five card spread, past, present, hidden influence, advice, and the likely outcome. Fight spirits here today for our greatest good to guide us to our greater good for ourselves and for the others who are maybe around us, others in the world. What is the energy for today? I'm being called to do kind of a secret card and um, that will be what you need to know which is also the hidden influence but I'm hearing that there's a couple hidden influences and this one you want to be a surprise that's not a surprise. Okay. 
I, oh, did you see that? I turned it over. I don't know if you saw it or not. We're going to leave it there. Okay. Past. Present. Hidden influence. The advice and the likely outcome. Let's put this over here. Ron Ronanite, I believe it is. Okay, let's just double check what we're looking at here through the camera. Oh, good. We're still on the camera. Okay. <clears throat> wow. Okay. So it looks like we're learning some new things. We're getting creative. Maybe getting together with some other people to create something. Maybe do something you're doing on your own, but you're learning something new. <clears throat> Um, which is interesting that I said that there needs to be two hidden influence cards because we're, we have the moon here under the hidden influence, which are things unseen that you need to eliminate light on, right? The, uh, the black and the white, where's the gray in between? The yin and the yang, the balance, um, Looks like she was drowning at some point here. Or maybe she's just floating underwater, you know, sometimes. You just want to get away from everything and everyone, and there's really nowhere to go, and you jump in the pool or uh, lake, ocean, river, wherever you may be, whatever you have available to you, to kind of get away from it, right? And you jump in, and you kind of hear it, like how... Sound becomes muffled. And you're just kind of like floating in space. It's very surreal feeling of letting go and just disconnecting from everyone and everything around you for a moment in time. Experiencing something new, a new sensation. Coming enlightened, putting in the work. It's funny because this one almost looks like it's backwards, right? So this is where you're starting off right now and this is where you're ending up. Except for I feel like if you, you start here, right? Because you, you learn things, you strengthen your mind and do some research and you build this craft that you've been researching about. You're getting rid of old emotions, seeing things in a new light and becoming enlightened, surrendering to the, the divine spirit. Where do you want me to go? What do you want me to do? I surrender to you. I know you have my back. And then just sitting pretty. Um, Pentacles, that's Queen of Pentacles. She is Mother Nature. She is one with the earth. She's not worried about anything. She can feel vibrations what's going around on around her going on around her without her having to open her eyes she can feel the energy she's being divinely guided <clears throat> all right so it's interesting that it seems like it's going backwards it's interesting that i was called to 
draw another card for what is unknown. What is unseen? What needs to have the light shine on it? You know, let's reflect some light on there. You know, so for reading it, as if this is your past, then you know, you were sitting pretty at some point in your life already. You're coming into your spiritual awakening and some sort of flood where catastrophe happened um, to where you were drowning in emotions uh, could literally be a flood for me it was a fire put water on fire just put the fire out you're surrendering can't do anything about it it's happening there must be a reason there's a divine reason for everything that happens uh, you manifest things and you wish for them and you visualize them uh, and you let it be an open container for anything to happen instead of saying i want to win the lottery so i can get one million dollars you're opening yourself up to abundance and possibly getting a million dollars in maybe another way. Maybe you start a business and you become very fruitful. <coughs> and then you end up with a team. Maybe that's how you make your abundance, how you make your money. It looks like the only thing we don't have in here are the wands, which is fire and passion. We have the mind, we have earth, spirituality, home, money, we have our emotions. to take action that's what's missing taking the action to get here the, the, <coughs> the advice is to get a crew together to help you out it's impossible to do this macrame without something holding it up. I mean, I guess you could lie it down on the ground, but it's not going to hang as well. It's not going to, the knots aren't going to be tied correctly. You're not going to get that pattern that you're trying to make. But when you have others helping you and looking at it from a different perspective, and doing things that you can't do on your own, that maybe you just need a little extra help with. I, I opened up with that. I needed some help, right? I need help with my, my camera situation here. How do I do this? How do I make it look good? How do I make it authentic? How do I not spend a million hours trying to edit these videos? The young person in the bottom. Rebirth. Have the world in your gut. <laughs> the gut really actually uh, rules your body. You know, if there's something wrong with your gut, you're going to have all kinds of other ailments. 
not feeling good. What's your gut feeling? What What do you want to do? What's your craft? What do you want to learn about? So your advice would be to go find some people to, to work with you, to collaborate. What are their strong points that are not your strong points? So you can focus on the things that you love, the things that you you're studying about and concentrate on that so I can concentrate on my tarot instead of trying to figure out how to be a video editor and cameraman and lighting person. <laughs> yeah, lighting, <laughs> cameras. You know, it's a, it's a balance. It's frustrating. It's hard. Doing it all by yourself and trying to figure it out. You're swirling around, swirling around. Jesus. Yeah, you start one thing and it moves on to something else. It's like when you're cleaning the house too. You know, you gotta empty out a drawer to put something where it actually belongs, but you got 10 other things that need to go in 10 different places. So now you're all over the place. So putting it all in a bucket and then separating it out once you get to that room later so that you save more time and anguish although you get more steps in that way <clears throat> all right so let's see what this mystery card is right now what is the hidden influence the world. Interesting. You know, just like the Empress here. The world. Now this one's all around you. Circle of life. Things ending to have new beginnings. Living in your light. Being free. The world is my oyster. All right, maybe you found this oyster in the bottom of the ocean. And it's got a beautiful pearl inside. And that pearl is going to turn into something beautiful. It's going to be rebirthed. See two full moons here. Maybe by the next full moon. We just had a full moon, the wolf full moon. Mm hmm. <clears throat> All right, well, that's beautiful energy. I'm going to find your pearl. And speaking of pearls, the mermaids want to come out. They have some information. So we keep going to the tips of the ocean here. Tips of our emotions. Fighting the current. Riding those waves. Divination, prophecy, fate, destiny, future, fortune. Yes, that's what I'm talking about here. This is it, right there. Queen of Pentacles, Queen of Cups, two queens. Two queens, it's very significant. You're really leveling up to a higher power. This is your fate, your future fortune, your pearl. Give me some more information about this Three of Pentacles and Page of Swords. Sorrow. 
soul cage, rescue, escape from captivity and restriction. Okay, this reminds me of the Little Mermaid. She's saving the prince who fell into the ocean. Expand your mind. Escape. Pick up a book. Escape in a book. You're feeling trapped? Learn something new. Rescue yourself. Mm-hmm. All right. So let's see. Um, my question is, why does this timeline backwards? Because the likely outcome on here is the Page of Swords, which is where you're learning. So I guess you're just going to continue to learn. You're going to be in this higher state of being. Mm, I don't feel like that really resonates. It's kind of wanted to flip, but uh, Five of Swords being stabbed in the back by somebody you trusted. Maybe somebody is trying to steal your pearl, steal your spirituality. This guy back here has wings, like he's an angel, but he's the one who stabbed you. My angels don't do that, they protect me. Right? So, walking away, feeling betrayed. Yeah, you betrayed yourself from your soul cage here. Why is it backwards? Now pull the knives out of your back. Maybe you loved somebody and it took a hold of your soul and they walked away from you, broke your heart. Stabbed you a couple of times and walked away like it was nothing. And you're left here in agony. Why is it backwards? The hermit. Because you need to shine your light on it. is about going inward maybe you were not going inward you were just going outward so much you felt like you were going backwards isolation I really feel like you need to have a team you need to have um, people around you who can help you out you did all that you could do in making your plans and trying to figure it out on your own but now it's time to light your lantern and take the journey find your people Mm-hmm. I believe this will happen by the next full moon in February. I'm not sure what that is. I have to look that up. Maybe you can let me know in the comments below. Okay. 
Any, anything else I should know about the situation? Oh, two cards. Okay. Page of Cups and Ace of Pentacles. Wow. Spirit is saying, just connect to your elements. Fire, water, air, body, spirit. Meditate. Practice your rituals. Another full moon. Here's all your pearls. You know, those are amethyst protection. But that's your treasure. It's your fortune. Connect to your spirituality. Mother Earth. Immerse yourself completely. Study. Practice your craft. All right, let's see here. Some oracle. Mm -hmm, some needs to pop out. There's two here. Unique gifts. Fifty-five changes. Mm -hmm. Celebrate your unique gifts here. Bring upon change by studying. Make a difference. Do something else. Become an alien. Yeah. People might think of you as an alien because you're becoming one with your higher being, your higher self, spirit. Not everybody understands that. You have to... Follow your heart. And then we have vulnerability. Once again, we have a dragon. It's a year of the dragon. And it seems to be protecting your crystals. We have a clear quartz here. You know, I... Getting, getting there, the path is not a straight line. It's a journey. It's about hitting up these different places, these different feelings, different moments in time to explore new gifts and grow and show your beauty. Okay. Live in the now. Do it now. Meditate now. Amethyst. Trust your intuition. And the amethyst down here. One more. <clears throat> Apophyllite. Stay positive. Stay with spirit. Shine the light. Box. All right. Wild offering. Body. Show me divine how to love and fully care for this body. Please give me the radiant miracle of accepting my body as it is. Love yourself. Oh. Change. Yep, change again. 55. Don't scare yourself with the next 40 steps. All you need is that one next action. You can say to love, just show me the first step and change me into one who can take it. Just show me the first step and change me into one who can take it. Hmm. Definitely be some challenges, uh, but one step at a time, one step at a time. You're making these changes, you're learning new things. <clears throat> Let's 
going to happen if you put the work in. Don't worry about everything else that needs to be done. Self-sufficiency. The ultimate self-sufficiency is relying on God. It doesn't mean hiding in a cave. <laughs> this is this one right here. And saying, I don't need people. Instead, it's saying, God is my source. And I am willing to receive all the help, love, and support that wants to come. Oh my goodness. Right? <laughs> that is this wrapped up in a pretty bow. Right? Do the work. Find your team. Become one with spirit. It'll open you up to your creativity. I replace all sorrow with lighthearted fun. Yes, have fun with it. <clears throat> Enjoy the journey. It's not about the destination. It's about the journey. Do you automatically say, I'm sorry for the little things that happened by accident? What if you replace I'm sorry with surprise? Instead, you say, I'm, when you say I'm sorry, most often you have no reason to be and the person you are apologizing to doesn't want you to be sorry either. By saying surprise, you restored lighthearted and fun energy to a situation that negatively, negativity gremlins might otherwise conquer. Give it a try. loving yourself, having the confidence, having fun. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> As I align my habits, decisions, and actions with my dreams, my creative ideas become real things. The world abounds with stimulating distractions, and it's easy to lose yourself in the labyrinth of activities, projects, and directions. <laughs> yep. That's what I was just talking about. Cleaning the house, trying to figure out these cameras, and distracting me for what I'm trying to actually be studying. But you'll never complete any journey if you keep changing your route. Stick to one thing. Get that team. Bring your dreams to reality by aligning your habits, decisions, actions, goals, and core visions with each other in a hierarchy. Like your chakras, cultivate habits so you can make better decisions that support the actions you will take to reach the, your goals, which in turn support your dreams. The amateur spends time on anything that catches his attention, but the pro circulates time to everything that aligns with her dreams. Mm hmm definitely the amateur here, so we're moving up to pro. The magnitude of my power is always in the now. Uh, didn't we just talk about being in the moment, being in the now. It's madness to freak out about the future because it hasn't happened yet. Yeah, you don't know what's going to happen. It's the moon. It's not guaranteed. It has to do with your choices. That's not in the card. It has to do with your choices. You still have a choice. You always have a choice. What happens if you shift your focus to the power you have in each moment? Steps turn into miles. Yep. One step at a time. Eventually, you're going to get there. But if you look at it, what's right in front of you and see that you can't even see the end of it, you're going to get overwhelmed. So you need to just focus on your feet. Take one step at a time. Stay in the moment. Steps turn into miles, which turn into globe trotting. Kisses turn into sexy time, which turns into babies. Oh, wow. Ah, where was that? That was the empress the bottom of the deck babies the world right which turn into the globe trotting which turns into sexy time look how sexy she looks here which turns into babies baby in her belly 
her womb. Words turn into pages. Oh, wow. Pages. Which turn into novels. Notes turn into songs, which turn into symphony symphonies. Okay, that's this here. Turns into something. Go slow, steady, and with intent. If you really understood the enormousness of your power, you wouldn't be scared of shit. Mm -hmm. Yep, and on the bottom again, death and rebirth. Clearing it out. Stepping into your sexuality of the earth. Of loving yourself. It's a very powerful message for you today. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you got a lot of information out of it. Step into your power. Don't forget to study to create your craft. And if you like this content, please like and subscribe. Support my channel. And I will see you next time.